time it was on the air. Please give us a call because it sold out when it was featured back in early October. We were excited to be able to get it back because it's one of those items that gives you great versatility. Whether it's part of your holiday meal or you're just looking for something different when you're tired of the holiday leftovers, mm -hmm. um, this is going to come to your rescue time and time again. Brittany Rostelli's here. Nice to see you as Hello. always. How are you, Jill? Good to see you. And this is from our Egg Harbor collection, which is our seafood collection here at QVC. We have two ship weeks for you. We can send it to you right away or we can send it to you the week of December the 10th. We are featuring it at $69.98. That's for 45 pieces, everybody. And you're getting it on a three pay, easy pay plan. We're calling this ebi, Japanese style ebi fried shrimp. So mm -hmm. kind of talk a little bit about that because these are long pieces of shrimp, not the curled up pieces coated in like a heavy batter. Absolutely. So that's probably the first thing everybody notices is the shape. Yeah. So this is a Japanese style fried shrimp and the style is nobashi. So basically the shrimp is cleaned, deveined, and then stretched out. And then it's using panko breadcrumbs. So if you're not familiar with panko, it's a very, very light breading yep. and it becomes very crispy once you yes, it. Yes, it's great. So these go right from frozen onto a sheet pan. I recommend around 400 to get them nice and crispy. You're going to try one just like that. Um, but this is a whole piece of shrimp that you're seeing here. We cut one open this way for you so that you can take a look. It's mm. breading is kind of just hugging mm -hmm. that shrimp, but it's not chopped up processed piece of, of shrimp. This is a whole shrimp. Mm. It's e one thing I like, it's easy as a finger food. Oh, absolutely. So as an appetizer tail. or something, you know, it's really easy to handle. But you can see on the inside, the shrimp is there, the coating is there, but it's not like heavy battery. It's, you know, it's very light, giving you the crunch, but you still taste the shrimp on the inside. Yes. That's always my problem with so many sort of like fried batter foods is all I really taste is the crunch and the batter on the outside. And I never really get to taste the food that's coated in that. Yes. That's not true here. This still tastes like shrimp with that light coating of the crunchy panko. Yes. And they are so easy to prepare and there are mm. just so many different things that you can do with these. This is one of my favorite items to entertain with because if you are cooking a huge meal for your guests, mm -hmm. putting something on a sheet pan and then having it come out ready is one of my Wonderful. favorite things. And then it does have the little tail. So if you did forget toothpicks or forks or anything, this is another one of those great entertaining pieces that you don't need any of that. And how am I preparing this? So again, I totally recommend bumping up your temperature. Your box mm -hmm. is gonna say 350, but go to about 400 just to give that extra crunch and you're gonna go 25 minutes. Love it. And they're finished. There is an auto delivery on this. And I would suggest that because I've worked with Brittany a couple times with some of the different um, Ebby collections we've put together. They always sell out. And I feel like it's usually kind of a long amount of time before we see them return. Right. So on auto delivery, that's gonna ship to you every 90 days for a year. Nice that you'll, with this particular purchase today, you're gonna get that price point, which is nice. It's $69 and change. And here's what 45 pieces looks like, you guys. So, I mean, it's a really nice opportunity to get quite a bit of food, whether these are appetizers, whether you wanna put these with a salad, however you wanna entertain with them. I wanna remind you too that with auto delivery, that also locks you into the easy pay, so that makes it affordable too. So what are you gonna show us here? Because so, I love your ideas, Brittany. So this is one of those things where on Sundays, we're huge football fans in my house, mm -hmm. and my husband will always say, like, can you get some snacks out? So I'm big on opening up my freezer and my fridge and seeing what I already have yes. in there. Um, so this is one of those easy things where you just take your shrimp, cut it a little bit. So you're cooking it, you're going ahead and you're cooking it first? I'm put it on 400, 25 minutes later, take them out. Okay. And then I'm gonna make some buffalo shrimp. Ooh. Just take your bowl. Yum. This is a small portion. I'll do it a couple times. Yep. And just add your favorite hot sauce, your favorite buffalo sauce, whatever it is that you have. But a couple of them cut up. Now think about that as a topping for a salad. Exactly. Or think about using this in like a po' boy kind of a, you know, hoagie style yes. sandwich, right? I mean, you could do so many things. If you don't like the buffalo heat, you mm -hmm. could always do more of like an Asian ginger teriyaki. Or you could do something if you wanted to, almost like a, um, like a shrimp parmesan with this, right? Exactly. Couldn't I just do like a marinara sauce with this with, with a, a little, little bit of cheese exactly and just yum. bake that on top and then yum you have your little buffalo shrimp and you are awesome blue cheese nice, for dipping easy appetizers that is awesome that are just 
perfect for when you're entertaining or when it's just us at home. And you just used a few of them of the 45 that you're getting. <laughs> exactly. So here's what you need to think about. So you're getting, you know, almost four dozen of these, which is awesome. If you are wanting to get these shipped to you right away, I only have 300 left to go around. Remember, this is one of our, you know, hot picks today. This is one of the top items that we're featuring today. Sold out when it was on the air back in October. Took us over a month to get it back in, just about a month, I should say, to get it back into stock here. If this sells out now, I don't know if you'll see it back again before the holidays. So let's think about that for a second. What are you serving as an appetizer for Thanksgiving? What are you going to do for that Christmas Eve open house? Is this something that would be a nice companion to any filet mignon you might be serving mm -hmm. um, from Rostelli Meats, right? And so now you can do your surf and turf. Yes. Um, do your wonderful filet mignon or a Chateaubriand and then do these wonderful shrimp on the side. I love this as something that, you know, when you've already had your meal on Christmas Eve and maybe you're staying home and being with friends and then gosh somewhere around 10 30 at night when you start to watch the stuff from new york you're like i need a little munchie again yeah these you're just pulling right out of the freezer you're baking them for about 25 to 30 minutes and then everybody's diving in mm -hmm. and i love the idea of doing lots of different sauces so everybody can kind of get their favorite favor flavor profile exactly you just had you know mentioned a bunch of sauces and that's the great thing i love about this particular fried shrimp is that it goes with so many different sauces you can do buffalo you can do a teriyaki you can do a nice um, chili mayo like this one is. Yeah. You can do the chili dipping sauce. There's right. basil pesto that we have here for this one. Here's the chili dipping sauce. I the, love that. Because the shrimp and the breading itself, Brittany, doesn't really have any seasoning to it, does it? No, not at all. So that's just going to be the nice panko breading. Mm. But just to give you an idea of how fast it is to <laughs> plate something like this, mm -hmm. I just love it. Because again, if you're so busy in your kitchen with a huge group of people, so these come out of the oven and then you can plate them on any plate that you have. Maybe one of the pretty ones that mm -hmm. sits in your um, break front and you don't touch, or just something like this, very simple. Put them out in a nice little arrangement here. And then you can add a dipping sauce yeah. if you'd like. Here's a little pesto mayo. And your plate is done. You're just completely done. Your appetizers are on the table and ready to go for your guests. I'm even thinking if you really wanted to go more formal, because I know usually when, because we usually do Christmas Eve at our house. So I put out, like I pull out all the stops. You know, my sister-in-law tells me every year, with the amount of appetizers you put out, that could just be dinner. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. We go out at every stop. But what if instead of putting out like family style where you just sort of have on your coffee table your hors d'oeuvres and everybody stops by and grabs it. What if you did a sit down first course hors d'oeuvre and then did on each plate, you know, a sec, like three or four of these shrimp, because it would be so easy to plate them this way, be real easy to serve them to everybody. And you could come up with like a little custom drizzle sauce to put on top. Like Absolutely. wouldn't that be a really elegant way to start your holiday meal? Sharon, you going to come over? I, love these. I know you love these. <laughs> I know. I do too. Now what sauce do you like with them and feel free to grab oh that's an interesting question um like how do you do like how do you go you know what there's no <laughs> there's no specific sauce i think they work with many different sauces but it depends on if i'm doing a salad it depends on if i'm mm -hmm. what the vegetable is on the side yeah because i might want to do more of like the chili asian flair or yum yum mm -hmm. sauce but I, there are many times i just love a traditional cocktail sauce it's totally different yeah. it depends on the occasion yeah but they're consistent, aren't they? I think that's one of the things that I have found with this product is that it's always consistent, right? There's never always. a batch that's heavily breaded. There's never no, a batch right. where the shrimp are tiny. Like no. it's all, it's the same every time I get the order. And the shrimp are always so plump, meaty, juicy, flavorful, amazing. And then the breading just highlights the goodness of what's on the inside. Whereas a lot of breaded shrimp are all about the breading. Sometimes you get the shell of breading and something fell out of the inside. Yes. You know what I mean? Right. Yes, I like, was saying that earlier. This, yeah. is, this is the best. Or and the you, breading is so spicy, it takes away from the flavor of the food that's on the inside. they're covering up the ingredient on the inside. Right. And I have my helper handle and I always love that. Oh, well, good. <laughs> um, how, here's a question. Um, what about doing these in my air fryer? Will they work? So, you know what? I've never tried it in the air fryer, but we have a couple reviews where guests suggest that and they love it okay so it's definitely an option and we should try that yeah i would think we would be able to right um because you're again it's going to crisp up nicely mm -hmm. i would just really monitor the time because you don't want it to get overly um 
air fried. Right. Um, but if you like things crunchy, which I think is one of the appeals of an air fryer, um, and you want this to really crisp up like you've been talking by cranking up that temperature, Brittany, mm -hmm. the air fryer could be a great option. If you're just tuning in, we have just brought back this Ebby fried shrimp collection. Sold out when it was on the air, and that was back in the beginning of October. Completely sold out. We're back with it today, but if you want it shipped out right away, we have fewer than 100 to go around. So that leaves the second ship week, which is the week of December the 3rd. Is that right? Yeah, December 10th, sorry. December the 10th. So these will ship out. You'll get them in plenty of time. Are they coming in a big bag where I can just grab at will? How does that come packaged? So they're going to come in a box and you just take out what you need. Great. And they last up to about a year in your freezer. Okay. Although you probably won't need them that yeah, long. Yeah, right. They go pretty fast. <laughs> this is also one of those things. Sometimes we do taco night and I use these instead oh, nice. of, you know, frying ground beef or chicken. Mm -hmm. I just put shrimp these tacos. in. And exactly. I just do my shrimp tacos and I do the spicy mayo with those. You're getting 45 of them. But again, they might look different to you. Like, wait. Wait a minute, that's not how shrimp looks. Usually when shrimp cooks up, it kind of curls up. Explain the process of these again, if you wouldn't mind. So this is a nobashi style. So the Japanese tradition takes the piece of shrimp, it peels it, cleans it, deveins it, and then it stretches it. Mm -hmm. And then we coat them with panko breadcrumbs. So if you're not familiar with the panko, it's just a light, airy, crispy breading that once you put this in your oven on 400, I recommend for about 25 minutes, you're gonna get that nice crunch. Uh, we just sold out of what we can ship out right away but I still have available the week of December the 10th. And I would encourage you to think about the December 10th, even if you feel like you kind of already know what you're gonna do for your holiday meals, because isn't it true? You're gonna have all those leftovers which are delicious and by day three, you're tired of them. Like, I couldn't eat another such and such if you paid me. So why not change it up and do the Ebby shrimp? Maybe out of nowhere, you're gonna be having guests. It's nice to be able to have something that you can grab out quickly and that prepares beautifully. And because this does have, how long is the shelf life on these, a year? Up to a year. So think about the snow days and the inclement weather in January and February when just when you thought you were gonna to run to the store, four feet of snow hit. Mm -hmm. Isn't it nice to know you have this delicious shrimp that you could change up and flavor however you want. If you like more Asian, go that way. Mm -hmm. If you love salads, listen, after the first of the year when everybody's starting to watch their weight, make mm -hmm. a salad, lots of great veggies, and top it off with a couple pieces of shrimp. Absolutely. It couldn't get any easier. And I just love, like, you know, all those tiered plates that you probably have at home mm -hmm. or you see in the store and you wonder, what am I going to do with that? Yes. It doesn't have to just be dessert. So you can put your appetizers on them as well. And Great. it just makes such a beautiful center presentation piece as well. Also nice if in the new year you're thinking, you know what, maybe it would be a good idea to try that whole idea of a meatless Monday and do seafood instead. Exactly. Here's a new way to do seafood. Now here's something else to consider. If you've never shopped with QVC before, if you're looking at this and you're like, that looks fabulous. I would love to have access to something like that. Especially those of you that are a bit landlocked in the central part of the country. Mm -hmm. You know, listen, I worked in Indiana and went to school in Missouri. There, there was not a lot of this kind of ebby style shrimp <laughs> in restaurants or in seafood market. So I love that we can bring that to you. But if it's your first ever QVC purchase, we'll take $5 off your first purchase. This, if you'd like it to be this, um, once you set up your account with us, uh, just use that five for you promotion. So we showed you buffalo style. We showed it as a surf and turf option. We talked about it with salad. Mm -hmm. We drizzled it with all kinds of sauces. Really versatile. We're busy on the phones for this. Um, over 1,400 of you have dialed in for this. The immediate ship is gone. So all we have left that we can ship out to you is the week of December 10th. I will see you back in a little bit. I will. We have some great ideas from Egg Harbor yes, today. We We're going to talk about crab stuffed uh, salmon coming up in just a little bit. So we'll see you then. Now, don't forget, hot picks are those featured items on the day. Not just food, could be fashion, could be beauty, things that we want to call your attention to because a lot of times they're items that are top sellers. They're just back in stock or they may be completely new.